My dear students, welcome to Unit 3. This unit is going to be um, shared between the English language and literature and the individuals and society's topic. Now, this unit is designed to investigate the intricate nexus between the human brain and its profound implications for the comprehension of social, economic, and ecological phenomena. The curriculum encompasses a diverse array of textual genres, including scientific research articles, literary works, historical narratives, and ph philosophical discourse. Students will engage in an exploration of contemporary uh, neuroscience to elucidate the neurobiological foundations of cognition, empathy, and decision-making. Concurrently, the analysis will extend to the examination of literary and artistic expressions that both mirror and mold societal perspectives on the human mind. Economic theories and case studies will be uh, scrutinized to discern the cognitive determinants shaping financial decision making and market dyna dynamics. Moreover, ecological texts will be sur surveyed to unravel the cognitive dimensions influencing environmental attitudes and behaviors. By synthesizing these disparate textual forms, the objective is to cultivate a comprehensive understanding of the manifold ways in which the human brain interfaces with the influences social, economic, and ecological realms. The key concept is creativity. The related concepts are audience imperatives and globalization. The global context is globalization and sustainability, and the exploration is commonality, diversity, and interconnection. The statement of inquiry for this unit is creativity within human interactions can reflect diverse processes to promote sustainability goals across the globe. This unit, uh, you are going to be assessed on criterions B, and C, which is organizing and producing text. The ATL skills are social thinking, self-management, and transferring skills. The clusters uh, for social, you're going to be assessed on collaboration, where you're going to listen actively to other perspectives, uh, critical thinking, where you're going to apply existing knowledge to generate new ideas, products, or processes, you're going to have reflection for self-management, develop new skills, techniques, and strategies for effective learning. Uh, for transferring skills, you're going to make connections between subjects, groups, and disciplines. For the integration, you will have uh, ICT integration uh, that plays a key role in creating dynamic learning environment where you are going to create content and share it on individualized web platforms. You're going to practice using digital abilities in the real world by building personalized websites. And we will have an integration with English as well for the unit project. You will have an informative speech uh, is which is the means for providing an audience with objective factual information. Its main goal is to enlighten and educate, not to convince or support sp a specific position. You will have authentic, authentic creating, product, and for the rubrics, you can find it on the unit page. For the unit reflection, uh, uh, aligned with the mass vision and mission, you're going to use your understanding of the unit and modern American schools vision and mission statement to answer the following questions. You must answer the questions reflecting on yourself as a lifelong learner and a global thinker. A lifelong learner is someone who continues to acquire new knowledge, skills, and insights throughout their entire life, regardless of age 
or formal education. This process involves seeking out opportunities for learning, whether through formal education, self-directed studies, or hands-on experiences to grow and adapt in a rapidly changing world. And uh, someone who approaches problems, concepts, and circumstances from a broad and global viewpoint is referred to as a global thinker. They take into account how the globe is uh, interrelated and how decisions made in one location can have an impact elsewhere. Um, global thinkers frequently analyze complex issues by grasping the broader context and implications rather than focusing on particular discrete elements. They seek for solutions that take into, an, uh, into account the many interests and points of view of people from various regions and backgrounds and are open-minded and culturally sensitive. Um, you will have... Um, you can click on the picture to download the document. Now for the resources. Now for the resources, you can find it in uh, the unit page. You are going to concentrate on how to structure a speech. I can't wait to start this unit with you guys. All the love and respect.